right now I'm currently working on a, a book called Extraordinary, and it's about you know a lot of the extraordinary individuals we've had in the show. A, a lot of Buckeyes, by the way. We've had uh, AJ Hawk on the show. We've had Jim Tress. Oh, on the oh show. Wait, baby, let's go! Oh, <laughs> wait, let's go! But you you talked about you know like what you learned from not getting drafted out of high school, and like one of the one of the key components of what I'm writing about is this idea of like adversity, like really really helps us grow. And and I guess like looking at it for you, like how did adversity, I guess you know, prepare you to be a better player than you would have been had you not had it? Oh, 100%, man. I feel like you have to understand what losing feels like. Mm -hmm. And that's even for like the kids that I work with, all these young kids out there. It's okay to lose early in life. It's yeah. okay because it lets you know what that feeling is like. As a matter of fact, I can use an example that just happened this past weekend. My daughter, she's seven years old. She's an equestrian, right? She's a horse rider. Mm -hmm. And she rode on Saturday and she was extremely disappointed in how she, she rode. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm thinking I'm driving, you know, we're driving home and, you know, Emmy's sitting in the back seat and all of a sudden just no sound, no nothing. I look back and she's just crying. And I'm thinking to myself, like, Emmy, you got to remember why you're doing this, sweetheart. It's not, we're not doing this for the ribbons. Mm -hmm. We're not doing this to finish first place. We're doing this because we have a love for it and we have a passion for it. And then I think the next thing, you know, it's like even the Los Angeles Dodgers, you have to be resilient in life. You yeah. have to be able to come back. And so what happened on Saturday with my kid? She rolled back in there. All we talked about was having fun that day. It was all about just enjoying the ride. Hot damn, she finished third place on Sunday, right? So it's like she goes from the bottom of the barrel trying to win mm -hmm. to finishing third and trying to have fun, right? Yeah. So I think there, there, there has to be a good mix of all that. And look at the Los Angeles Dodgers. You said the word adversity earlier. Mm -hmm. Being down 3-1 in the NLCS to the Atlanta Braves. I don't know, you know, other than the Houston Astros coming back from the 3-0 deficit, I don't think you can get any deeper, right? Yeah. So to see what the Dodgers have gone through and now seeing it on a huge stage right now, you see where that momentum can take you. And once you can get out of that hole, once you can pick yourself up, stand back up on your feet, be strong, great things will happen to you. Because you don't learn anything about yourself when you're kicking ass, bro. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're winning all the time, you don't learn anything about yourself. Yeah. You learn about yourself when you're going through the tough times. When you, when you go 0 for 10, or maybe you're, as a kid, maybe your parents divorce, right? Or you, you go through a breakup. There's a lot of things that happen that, that can take you down. It's mm -hmm. how you bring yourself back up, in my opinion, that matters the most.